there my lovelies hope you guys are doing well and staying safe today i come to you with a massive unboxing of boxy charm and before i start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you find my videos helpful in any shape or form in uh if you find it entertaining don't forget to give me thumbs up like the video comment and share so let us begin i'm gonna start with this box that came is the boxy charm uh so the boxy charm is called bubble and glitz beautiful right so the first item i have for you ooh, zoxy nice it's a cubic zirconia and I'm trying to see, it is $36. So the, these stud earrings features brilliant two carat cushion cut cubic zirconia surrounded by sparkling pave halos. So that's that. Next I have, is this, Luxie. Oh, it is, one thing I like about Luxie, I, this is, if you've seen my video, this is not the first Luxie product I received. They're pretty nice. And this one, let's see. I forgot to tell you, this is the Lux box. So this the Luxy one cost $85. Wow. Uh it's a look. And it's $85. So $85 plus um uh, it has a little bit of a funky smell, I have to tell you. And 36 is 115, 121. Then we have Rockins Cosmetic. Three, wow, hot mess threesome. That's a... Uh, interesting name is forty dollars so 121 and 41 40 dollars is 161 so silk skinny scarves 15 percent off they give you like a coupon with it so these are eye pens the first one is oh these are all sealed so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to open one for you Actually, it's not a video if I don't try it, all of them on. So, bear with me as I try to open this bad boys. I'm going to try to cut through it if I can. I want to know, what do you think of the retirement of the ultimate box uh, i want to know how many of you are interested to upgrade to the new uh, replacement please comment below and i will let you know uh, the result in a later video so the first one is this. It's a purplish, bluish color. See the color? It, I would say this a little bit bolder for me. Um, I, but it I can use it as a nice eyeliner. That's the good thing. So. I'm going to open the next one, which is the Green Glitter Gel Eye Pen. As I told you before, I love opening these boxes in front of you, with you, and share my experience. I guess this is how I am. I just like doing this. Instead of um, uh, 
editing, deleting stuff. I just like doing um, the video in front of you and the only thing I delete from the video are just some redundant um, clips. Look, perfect for the holidays, right? One, I one thing I like about these pens is that even if I don't want to use it as like a shadow, I can use it as um, eyeliner. So that's what I love about this. Thicker eyeliner. Okay. Let me, let me open this and I will show you how it is. Wouldn't you rather want me to open, do the unboxing in front of you? Um, I am always eager to make my videos better. So I would love your feedback. See? So these are the three colors. And let me go by the next one. So we already have 161. And now is this. Is Reza Be Obsessed? Love My Living for all hair tribe and it is $22 161 and 22 is $183 um, this is how I do my because I have a very thin hair so in order to do the I just spray it in my hand it has a nice smell I rub it in between and just and then go from the mid length up and down to the ends and then what I do is whichever light residue left I lightly very lightly go over the top part so as you can see no I my hair is very nice beautiful small I had and that's how it is that's how I do it I uh, want if you uh, do an other way apply your lemon conditioner let me know I would love to know this is a lactic acid treatment and good genes so let's see uh, by Sunday Riley it is $85 so we were at 183 then 80, 85 is 268 already 268 dollars but how much are you spending uh, 35 I think 35 or 50 oh look this is the next one and it is hip dot It is thirty dollars, so one sixty-eight and thirty is one ninety-eight. Oh, look, beautiful colors. And as I said before, I when it comes to the shimmering one, I use my fingers because it tends to apply better, much better. This one, there are some that are very, very light. It shows up, but I don't know how much it will show up in the uh, uh, 
you see this and this is very light so now I'm gonna put in escape which is a gold golden one these are not like the ones from before which are very bold but kind of like a mild subdued kind of color which I like actually because I like the subdued color okay so this is how much uh, how it looks then we have is this it's a Avant glycolic mica arginine urea shea butter it's a doozy of a name but um, it's a moisturizer it's uh, you apply in the morning after cleansing and apply and then uh, and applying your uh, serum once you get the serum and uh, clean your clean then add the serum then you can add the moisturizer next we have is this it's an iconic London face palette this one is $55 let me do a in my hand a little bit so you can see what it is see it it's pretty subtle and nice right so that was the it so 55 and 85 is 140 plus 30 170 170 and 85 is 1 255 and 36 is 281 and 123 is 391 and 476 you don't even pay, spend 476 dollars uh, for a subscription so this I would say so far this has been the highest I have seen so I want to know what do you think of this box I for one like it it's just it gives me that holiday vibe then i have another big box of boxy charm which i would love to share with you the first one is a lemis it's a eye reviver time depends eye reviver line soothing eye cream uh, with that comes this uh, deep wrinkle plumping age spot concentrate by Cores and then by Becca you have the velvet blurring primer I used Becca before and I can tell you they are pretty good I actually have a few of these primers so let me just look at the next one is this pharmacy cheer up brightening C eye cream I am going to try how you tap gently smooth around your eyes okay so let's see how it is. It's kind of pinkish color. It's a nice smell too. I don't expect anything bad. It has a nice smell. 
So basically what do you do? I will just, I, this is how I do it. I just tap. Um, another thing I do is when I put in um, concealer, I mix it up with eye cream a little bit and then apply it like this. It just goes in really smooth. It doesn't become cakey. I want to know what do you guys do when you put in eye concealer to keep it from becoming cakey? Okay, that's that. The next one I have is. Glam Glow Moisturizer, Omega Rich. Mm. Nice, and it is so tight. It smells like paint. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. It smells like paint for me. Uh, when I, because whenever I use oil paint or something, this is how it smells like. I don't know. And it is moisturizing, I would say. Okay, the next item I have is this. It's a lip and chick milk by Milk Makeup. I have used a few of them. Oh, the whole thing came off. Ooh. Of course, the whole thing had to come off. Okay, this is the color, it's called Rally. This is how it looks. So you can apply it to your lip or to your cheek. I'm going to take a little bit of it. Do you see any difference? Because the color looks like this. <laughs> I am not seeing it right. I had it in my hands to all this time okay so that was that milk makeup next I have bicep it is one of my favorite palettes one of, I have two of them that I got one is called libertine and this one is golden hours so let me show you what it looks like I have few of these, but this one is really nice. The packaging and everything. So let me do a swatch for you. If I can remove the plastic first, then I will show it. I seem to be having a hard time removing the plastic. Okay, the first one I'm going to put on is this. I'm going to make it a little bit small because I don't know how many more eyeshadow palette I have. See, this is the thing I like about Icer. They're very, very bold color. You don't need to use too much. As you can see, next I have, it's another brownish color and now a reddish one is a is this is a same shimmery one you see the color here 
this is again a little bit purplish reddish it is purplish color this is a matte color so I'm gonna add the shimmer greenish and end with a purple matte That was the visor. And next I have is the golden hour. I'm telling you, this holiday I have received so many eyeshadow palette. But I'll never be done using it. Started with this one, the first one. Now this is more like a little bit of a golden. And their shimmery ones, I have to tell you, is very soft, velvety. Because when my I'm using my finger and it is I can feel the texture so soft and smooth so it is a very smooth their shimmers are now I'm gonna use a matte one this is kind of like a dark purple but it comes in here as brown now a greenish kind of and end with a dark very dark so these are Vizard I want to know what do you think it just came off I want to hear your feedback Next is called Give Me Brow. It is from Benefit Cosmetics. So it's a this is kind of like a sample size or it is traveler size, I would say. I'm gonna use it in my brow and I want a If you have half a burrow like me, the easiest way to know when to where to start is again, I showed this before, but it goes like this from your nose, the end of the edge of your nose on this side. This is where it should start. Your uh, brow. Then go through, it will be a diagonal from here to through your eyeball middle of your eyeball so this is where the arch would be and go like this with the end and this is where the end should be and if you follow that rule it will never look off So what do you think? I have this now. It's a huge one. It's an eyeshadow palette called Flamingo. I am excited. Let me just see if I can find my knife. I'm gonna cut, make a slight cut through here. So I can open it without messing it up and sometimes it's a little bit harder to get this yeah I 
seem to be having a hard time opening it. Okay, got it. It just, this palette, the color itself, it just reminds me of a warmer climate, which I don't live in right now because we are going to, it's getting, starting to get cold outside. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to clean this up and then go. Okay, this is called Flamingos. See the color? Next, this one is Donut. Of course, this is like the Stimson Donut color. I don't know if you can see this. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Now I have Flip Flops. These are all summer names and it just makes you feel good. This is Bikini. I don't know, for some reason the color reminds me of Florida. This is Oceanfront. This is called Tidal Wave. The Shimmer. Beach Ball. Right next to Tidal Wave. Watermelon. Lemonade. Pineapple. Popsicle. Sunbathe. It's kind of like the same color. Sarp. And every time I talk, say surf, it just reminds me of Hawaii, the best place to surf. Coral, right here. Island, sand. Even though the color is not that of a sand, but it's a pinkish tone. Seashell. Pinwheel. Sandals. And sunnies. Of course, it's all black. I don't know why it's called sunnies. But that is the palette. What do you think of the palette? Do you like it? Not so much. I would love to know. Wow, this is another one. It's a uh, matte eyeshadows. Let me see if I can open this. Okay, so this is it. The matte one nice color let me do a quick swatch if i can find space here start with the light one this any space i find i'm going to utilize it now this is called mall rat this is called hairspray these are very light and nice colors this is called Chill, Booyah, then Shoulder Pad, Grody, New Wave, Parm, and Psych. This is a nice one for everyday uh, use. Next I have is this. It's by Milk Makeup. It's a coconut water it's 
it's a small size, a cute size. And I'd love to share it with you, how it feels. Oh, coconut water. And it's soothing. It is quite soothing, I would say. And hydrating too. So that's the coconut water. Of course it has the small one. Put that in and this. Next I have this. This is the second one I received. It's a pumpkin turmeric turmeric. Uh, two-in-one polishing mask I didn't get a chance to use the mask but I will and I'll let you know now it's a brightening treatment illuminator by glow glam it's a beautiful one I love the packaging, don't you agree? And it is a brightening treatment. Wow, it is so tight to open, but I have opened it and it's sealed. But I really, it has a nice smell and it feels like scrub, so I'm not gonna do is that feels like a mask let me see apply to dry face in circular motion to exfoliate leave on for minimum of 20 minutes and then it will turn semi-transparent so it is kind of like a exfoliator so I will have to get rid of the stuff in my hand, but I have to say that this one, the color is, uh, the smell is pretty good. Wow, this is the last one. I really like this one. It brings in holiday memories to me. It is good for 24 months once you open. See this, it says 24. And it's infused with jojoba or jojoba oil, however you pronounce it. I am excited about this. One. Oh my God! Look, it is beautiful, and it will take me a little some time to try do the swatch. I have to make some space. I'm really excited about doing the uh, boxy charm video with you today because it's a huge it's the most massive one I have done and I love sharing my experience with you I act love it with one of those colors because they I it has little bit of everything in there and if you want to go a mild color it's available if or if you want to go bold it's still there so it is available and just up to you how you want it i have to say i am very much impressed with this one These are, um, if you don't like subtle colors, 
um, into bold you can do is I have mentioned this in my previous video is you just spray a little bit of um, primer or uh, setting powder into your brush and then use that to use the colors it just comes up really uh, bold at that time Trying to see if I missed any. Okay, this is the boldest one I have seen so far, but nonetheless, there's something for everyone or um, for every occasion you can use. You have the golden one, you have a lighter golden one. Uh, different types of matte colors so i am very much i i am loving this um, palette i would say because whatever my, uh, the occasion is i have something here for every part of those see the color it is a huge palette and it addresses every occasion you may have. You want to go mild for a day-to-day -day look, it's here. You want to go a more bolder look for a, a night out, it's here. So all these colors are here you see all this there's options are limitless so that was the eyeshadow palette but i am not done yet yeah that is not all because i have this this is the last boxy charm box i have so let me open it for you it, there's i got so many stuff that i have to find space to actually put stuff Okay, I'm gonna open this one now. As I said, it is the biggest BoxyCharm unboxing I have done so far. This is the premier one. So I opened the Lux one, the add-ons, and now the premium. It always has this. Uh, so first one I have is called Lucky Glow Bronze and Highlight Palette. Nice, huh? This is Pot of Gold. This is Royal Blush. Very subtle. That's what I like. Triple Seven. Good Fortune, which is the bronzer. Heaven Scent. And Serenity. I'm going to put in the Heaven Scent. I always add here. nice one now I have is this is Elmis pro Qual collagen eye revive mask it's an anti-aging so what you do is apply a thin layer to your eye contour like here um, the contours and leave it overnight to absorb or layer under your under or over your makeup as I said you use, use a minimum of three times a week this I use this stuff for um, to mix it with I mix it with the uh, concealer when I use it so this it blends in really nice so this one is $82 and the face palette is 
46 so it's 128 right there then I have is it's a cuticle oil see this I like the fact that it's a roll on I can use it like this and it, as I have shown you before I do have eczema which makes my nail bed really really dry and skin peels off and it's um, quite uh, I have to take medicine for that so I'll give you an example as you can see how the skin it has peeled so cuticle oil is really good for me and I cannot do manicure in a salon I do pedicures but I never I cannot do manicures because it is too harsh for my skin this is called it's so big volumizing mascara I want to use it and tell you exactly how it is so the cuticle oil is this one it smells good I showed you in a previous video I had I was using one of those cuticle oil and it was really greasy smell not this one it smells good that's what I like and I was at 128 and the cuticle oil is 22 so it's 148 150 now is that is the mascara by Elizabeth Mott I'm gonna put this you apply it the mascara and you can and you'll know how it is same time as I do always this is if you wanna don't want any clumps when you dip inside push out as much of the extra as you can then go all the way in and slowly roll and push it outward roll push it outward roll push it out roll push it out so you see do you see any difference I cannot see because I'm not wearing my glasses one and I'm not I cannot see it in my own face unless I use those makeup mirror then I apply a little bit I don't dip again I just apply it to my lower lashes And another thing I do is I take some and apply to the inner lashes because even when you try your best, it's hard to reach those inner lashes. So here it is. See the difference? I think I poked myself. So that was the mascara. I have to say, Glides in very smoothly. Um, twenty dollars. So I was at one fifty, and twenty is one seventy. And these are all eyes on you eye brushes. This I do like a lot because I I love using brushes. Even the uh, this one is thirty four ninety five. So I was at one seventy and then two four ninety five. Already, you are paying way, getting way more than what you pay for this one. The um, premium one, I would say, is around fifty. But I think. For some reason, I received a lot more with the Lux. I think Lux is the highest, so. 
again another mat this again I'm gonna do a little bit of a swatch smooth color these you can apply anywhere you want What I'm gonna do, and this uh, is eighty dollars. So I was at two four fifty, and eighty is two eighty four fifty. So you're getting two hundred and eighty four dollars, or almost two fifty, two hundred and eighty five dollars worth of item, which is great. So the Lux box had over four uh, had five four hundred and seventy six dollars worth of item. And this one has 285, almost $285 worth. I, in my judgment, I would call that a win-win-win scenario. What do you think? Love to know your feedback. So you have seen the both the Lux and the Premium Palette. I want to know is, which one did you like the most? You saw the add-on, you saw the Lux and the premium. I, and I want your opinion as to which one you th thought was the best, which one not, which items not so much, and would you recommend this subscription box to some, anybody? I, for one, do like the boxy charm a little more than I do Ipsy. I, when I first started, with Ipsy years ago, they had uh, they didn't have anything outside the glam bag, and it wasn't worth it for me. So, but this time around, um, they have different types. I was showing, telling you about uh, applying the colors with your finger by this way. I'm gonna use the this palette and sh give you a little some brushes here. So I'm gonna do, I don't use my finger for everything. It's just the shimmery one. It just goes in much better if I use my finger than I use anything else. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna apply a medium color for the middle. I I would suggest always use. I don't have a primer here with me, so I couldn't. I cannot use it, but always, when you are putting on eyeshadow, always use a primer. Then that's my recommendation for you. And because it gives you that clean slate. I sometimes have my foundation to work as a primer. When I apply foundation, I apply all over my eyes too. So give me that primer effect. I'm just gonna put a little bit here to get rid of some of the uh, dark circle and sometimes this is when I'm like in a hurry I use a little bit of the orangish one because orange will neutralize the dark circle I use that and then I use a lighter color on top of it you can see the difference between the two colors so once I use it then I use a lighter color I'm gonna start with the now I can use the lighter palette see the difference so that's how I do it so I start I'm gonna start with the neutral base and that then 
I'm gonna just try a little bit of the dark ones on here. I apply it very solid, subtly. I for one am in not in a mood of putting in something um, light, so I'm gonna put in again. You see the difference between those two. So. That's once I have a little bit of the color I want on the edge. It depends on how I feel about it. I sometimes use a little bit of a little darker on the other edge of it, like this one. So that was the jerk. Now what I do is use my finger and tap. So I can get that same effect. Once I have the lighter one, now I can put in the, I mean, darker one, I can put in the lighter one and it will show up. See the difference? It showed up pretty nice, right? And I take a lighter, very lighter one, and I apply it to the edge. See the difference? What I do also, I'm just going to use this one now. Apply some on the lower lashes, a darker tone. Okay, now I take a lighter one and apply it to the top. Just like I sh uh, putting an eyebrow, you want to put in makeup like this. You don't want to go beyond that line. Sometimes it helps if you put in a tape up like this and then do your makeup and just remove the tape. You'll get a perfect shadow all the time. And what I do sometimes is I take the darker one. If I'm being a little bit lazy, apply it to my brows a little not too much so I want to get that natural effect so I'm just gonna put it very lightly now you can tell me if you see a difference So that would be my two cents on how to put in um, eyeshadow. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm, I do it the right way or there's a bit. You, everybody do it, do theirs differently. And this is how I do my eyeshadow. <coughs> and that's what I have for my massive unboxing of the BoxyCharm boxes subscription boxes again i want to know what you think 
which ones do you like the best which one you don't like too much and what other subscription box do you use or would recommend and if there's any other thing that you want me to show in the future videos love to hear it please comment below and let me know until next time take care and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so don't forget to subscribe and if you find my videos helpful in any shape or form please um, like my video comment and share so until next time take care and bye happy viewing